Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to show you guys how to find any color, um, you know, in general, just any color on a computer screen, literally whether it's skin tone, whether it's a logo, whether it's um, an icon or something, and you can find any color using this tool. So the first thing I want to say is I'm going to show you guys how to use find RGB color, and RGB stands for red, green, blue, versus CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So the difference between these two things is RGB is all for digital. So anything online, anything on Instagram, anything on your screen, all digital, RGB. And then um, CMYK is anything that is print. So magazine, um, newspaper, color newspaper, um, book, et cetera, like that, children's book, that is CMYK. So you wanna know that before you know what you're gonna do with this. So let's say you're gonna start, you wanna make a box and you're gonna fill that box with the color blue. So you want to make sure this blue is, um, you know, RGB if you're going to be using it digitally. But let's say we wanted to make this box a different color. And let's say we wanted to say, we wanted to say, um, you know, Amazon for Amazon. Oops. Oh my gosh. Amazon um, for Amazon, you know, the shipping place. Let's find, I'm going to do Helvetica bold. So let's just find that. So let's just say that you wanted to find a color for that and edit the colors. So you want to make these two things the color that Amazon uses on, you know, on their shipping, on their logo. So we go over here, you just type in Amazon and you pull up an image. I'm going to pull up this image right here or this image, something high quality. Like here, this is fine. I'm going to pull up this image and I want to know what color that yellow, that yellow smiley face slash arrow thing is. So I'm going to go up here into my search bar and I'm going to find the digital color meter. And this is a color meter that you can use on your Mac. It, you can literally find any color, RGB, anything that you want. Like, so example, I'm on Amazon right now. The color, the RGB color for the font is 3747. Let's just write these down real quick. So that's um, 3747 and 61 for the font. And then the yellow, as you can see, is um 235 it's 156 and 63 and you can easily just do this by finding the digital color meter and pulling it up on your screen so we can go and you see it changes every time i um, hover over something new we'll go back into indesign and i want to make this i want to make this color that yellow so i'm going to go in here drop down make a new swatch open it up and see it's on cmyk right now that is for print I'm gonna to go to RGB and I'm gonna type in 37. I'm gonna type in 47 and 61, 61. So that should be the yellow. Oops, no, that's a font. That's sorry, that's a font color. So let's just change that. So I'm gonna make that this font color. That is the Amazon font color. And then I'm gonna make this color the Amazon yellow. So we'll do a new swatch again. And we can just name this, we can name this something, but I'll just keep it like that for now. Um, open up a new swatch again, open it up, and then RGB, and this is gonna be the yellow. So it's gonna be 235, I believe. It was 156, and it is 63. So that's the Amazon yellow. It looks a little bit darker, but did I mess something up? No, it actually is right. It's just a smaller version of this. But as you can see, this is exactly the Amazon color. If I pull it up here, I know it looks a little different because there's no border but is the exact Amazon color. So let's just find this color and we'll do no border, none. And it does look similar to that. See that? So that is, X, is, that is the exact Amazon font color and yellow that they use. We'll pull the digital color meter up just to check again. Digital, digital color meter. And yeah, that's, yep. So that's 235, 156 and 63 and then this is 37 47 and 61. so this is how to get a color on anything again you can you can search another logo let's just say um let's just search um any shade of blue that we want let's say we want this type of blue this blue this blue any of these blues let's pick this blue right here we go up again to digital color meter and you just write it down on any piece of paper or just memorize it i can't do that 125, 146, and 
39. So we'll go back up into InDesign and we're gonna change this. So let's change this color. I'm gonna do another new swatch. This is the Amazon color. Let's make a new one. RGB, it's already RGB. So one, two, five, one, four, six. And what was that? 234, I think. 234. And we'll make that color exactly that color. So as you can see, this color is that color. They match. So that's basically how you use a digital color meter. This is a great tool and it's free. It comes right with your Mac. So I just want to give you guys an example of that. And thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments below and I'll try to respond if you have any questions. Thank you.